Oh my gosh. Yes, it's me, the baby. The deer got a leg growing out of his back. And the oats are $50. Oh! Julia finally came crawling back to me. Wow, this is perfect. Maybe Kevin would respect me if I stole Valor. What's up, Epic Fork Knife Pranksters? Uh, I think that's what it's called. What's up, Epic Fork Knife Pranksters? Uh, we're, we're back and we're going to Callahan's to get some hay. And, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys that sometimes shopping local is better than going to your big farm box store like Tractor Supply. <laughs> All right, we're here. This is Callahan's General Store. And it is local feed farm supply right in the middle of Austin, Texas. Doesn't make much sense at all. Sorry, buddy. Don't want you eating any of the chicks in there. <laughs> Forgot a mask. Please protect the bus while I go. Hello, Junior. How are you today, sir? 10 pounds for $5, but it's just scratch grains. This one looks just like Vinny. Where's the, uh, where's the breeder? Look at this adorable baby. $50, oh! Well, well, well. Julia finally came crawling back to me. They also got this big warehouse in the back where they sell doves. They got chickens here that have issues. This is where they keep the chickens with the issues. Looks like these pigeons have issues. So I'm gonna ask them what the issue is with them and then we could probably take some off their hands. Sometimes they give me some for free. But they got little Julia's here. But yeah, all the time, you guys, I'll come by here and I will pick up one or two little birds or rabbits or something with mange or other issues that they get. And uh, they're either just gonna give them away or euthanize them. So I'll just take them and nurse them back to health. I don't know why they have these chickens in here. I'm gonna have to ask them later because that's kind of a small space. Look at all those chickens. These are the borbs that they have. Uh, as you can see, they got a bunch of Rhode Island Reds. I don't know what these guys are. Maybe Americanas or something a ton of Muscovy ducks. And all of this is literally right in downtown Austin, in the city limits. This is in Austin. They have tons and tons of chickens. Look at all these chickens, you guys. Oh, look, there's a little bunny in there. And they even have these goats. I don't know how this bunny got in there or why, but that's kind of cute. You know what? I'm taking this bunny. So these are all Muscovy ducks and you can tell that they're all males just because they're all massive. They're very, very big. If I got one of these guys and brought it back, they're all going to eventually be eaten by somebody. What would end up happening is uh, Darcidius would just end up fighting with it and eventually killing it. What kind of chicken is this in the comments, guys? Let me know. Yeah, they also got all of these things that you'd need, all the farm equipment and uh, the little things you can use to pick up pecans. Basically everything you get at Tractor Supply only probably a little bit more expensive, but you're supporting a local business. Uh, this actually might be a bit cheaper. Look at the baby guineas. Oh, and these are, you said Welsh Harlequin ducks? Rosa and Miguel are not for sale. Oh, I would die for Rosa. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist? That, no. Look at this deer, got a leg growing out of his back. Oh. $13 for a heat lamp. Oh. Whoa, might just have to get me one of these. $28. I think it fits perfectly. Look at me, I'm a coyote Peterson. Maybe someday Uncle Ben can afford a cat. Okay, Callahan's, uh, this is me, it's Uncle Father Ben. Please give me money. Please give me money. All right, guys, that's it. Poggers and I got some hay. When you buy feed here, you gotta go through this little drive-through thing and then these nice gentlemen will give it to you. Okay, Callahan's, this is why I think you should give me money. A, I am a startup wildlife rehabilitation and other animal rescue. B, I, give me money. Reason number three, the nice lady at the counter only charged me for one coastal bale when she should charge me for two because I specifically asked for two. Oh, look at all that hay, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, you too. Wait, who is that? How did you get in this bus? Get out of here, kid. You know what, guys? I'm going to Tractor Supply and I'm going to get another bale there and I'm going to see the difference in price and the difference in customer experience. I don't care if they're kid. <laughs> If I have a better time there, I'm gonna buy a tractor supply hat and you two are gonna have to bid for my partnership. All right, we're here at the dreaded 
Tractor supply. Uh oh. This beautiful bus. Whoa! $350 for a kennel. $600 for a kennel. I remember the good old days when these used to be $5 a bag. Uh, Callahan's is selling them for like seven or eight. So this isn't that bad of a deal. Even the merch is cheaper. $12.99 for scratch grains. $11 for layer pellets. Still way cheaper than Callahan's. They were asking $15 for Leia pellets at Callahan's. Okay, now all we need is $18 for chick starter. Heck, it may be more lucrative to dilute this stuff with some oats or scratch grain. Even the oats are $50. Oh! There it is though, a compressed Bermuda bale for only $12.99 and in a bag so it doesn't get your car dirty. That's exactly what I paid for Callahan's, only they wanted four extra dollars for a bag. Okay, this should keep me from going to the store for another month. I sincerely hope. Hmm, old Uncle Ben sure would love to get some of this stuff for the Waco place, but they blocked out the price. It's $269, $269, it's probably even more than that. Imagine paying $269 for just some stinky old metal. What do you guys think? Should I buy this giant tub of water so I can swim in it? Maybe put a couple gar in there or a turtle? Never mind, it's probably worth a thousand dollars. Thirty-two dollars for a barrel! We missed out on the deal of a century. It's probably because they were all dying. As you can see, paying the same for just their wrapped bale is well worth it. <laughs> Okay, gamers, I'm here at Lucy in Disguise with Diamonds. Very fun. Down in Austin. I am trying to find some kind of protection from Kevin because I got demonetized because I got an age-restricted video on an old video because we hit Kevin with the trash can lid. Whoopsies. How else am I going to defend myself? So I'm out here trying to get a suit of armor so I can protect myself without causing any harm to Kevin. So the goal is just to find something that will protect my forearms and neck. It looks like Kevin would just be able to eat through most of this stuff easily. Hey, here's something. This, no, no, it wouldn't protect their forearms. Maybe I could dress up like a big grape. Seems to be a little bit culturally inappropriate. A Mogus costume? This here shows some promise. And it's only $300. You wanna know what's wrong with society these days? <laughs> you can't get a Batman Joker costume for less than $159. <gasps> wow, this is perfect. And it's only $2,000. <laughs> is it worth it? Oh, perhaps this Barney costume would protect me. Wow, they're airborne. Maybe Kevin would respect me if I stole Valor. Okay, this sumo suit shows some promise and it's only $25 to rent. That's a small price to pay for not getting an infection. Surely this would keep Kevin away. And the imposter Amogus is sus. Just go away, read some books, come on. Okay, I'm back at the house and I really don't feel like laying down all that hay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Whoa! Snap my finger again and the... Wow! How did that happen? Wow! Oh, there, there, there it is! Wow! I can't believe we did it that quick. Man, it's, it sure is nice. What are you looking at, the baby? Yeah, eyes front. Buddy. Oh my gosh! But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. It's the same day, I promise, even though I'm not wearing the same outfit. And whoa, what is the... Whoa! <laughs> Why, as a matter of fact, sir, the artist to whom you are referencing is in fact me, the baby from Cleveland. Whoa, the baby in my own yard? Yes, it's me, the baby. And to all you viewers out there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and brush your teeth every night before bed. Gee, the baby, thanks so much for showing up on my YouTube channel. Okay, goodbye.